Okay, so the aim of this tutorial is to talk about interpolation in QGIS. Uh, I have a shape file of the inland or mainland monitoring station for global warming in the US. If I have a look at the fields in this file, you can see that I have a median temperature field and minimum and maximum fields, which are all values I can use to interpolate around the US. Now, if I want to interpolate from a shapefile, I go to raster, interpolation, interpolation. The thing is, this uh, method is very slow. It's actually not very um, flexible. I can't define many parameters. I will not give you an example now because it's very slow, but there is another way to interpolate in uh, QJS. I go to raster, analysis, and grid, which is interpolation. And now that's the layer I, I want to use. Let's say I interpolate the maximum value. I want it to go out to the max faster. Oops. Now, in here, there are many things I can define. One of the reasons to use this interpolation method is, let's say, I interpolate. Looking at the map, you can see that mostly I got values where there are points and uh, it's not very regionally spread. So this is not a good interpolation, but I don't have to close my interface to interpolate again. Let's say, okay, that's what I got here, so I need some smoothing because I can see the sampling points. Let's say I have a smoothing of 5, and 5 means how strong is the smoothing, and the radius is what's the regional extent of of the smoothing and let's say I want to have 4 degrees because this is SPG that's WGS84 layer which means the units are degrees so I want it to to smooth circle of 4 uh, degrees around my grid points and I regrid And well, it's much smoother. You can st you can still see the points, but it's it's a better regional approximation. Maybe if I reduce that a bit and increase the smoothing, it will be better. is better. As I told you, QGIS is not the best way to interpolate da data. I would do it in MATLAB or something. But if you want to have a flexible GUI uh, system, that's not a, a bad way to go. And that actually produces clusters. It can be used in GIS software, so it's nice. After you smooth the data, you'll probably want to reproject the raster and clip it using a, a vector layer, let's say the, the US uh, borders, but that's for another, um, another time.